Hey kids, so you want to stream your PC games to Twitch, huh? So all your friends can watch, huh? Yeah! Are you too fucking young to be streaming online, damn it? But if you're closer in age to one of these fine, responsible adults, these are the 10 easy steps to streaming on Twitch. Uno! Go to twitch.tv and sign up. And do all the email verification crap. Dose! Download open broadcaster software. Tress! Do a speed test and find out how actually fast your upload speed is for your internet. Jot that shit down. Four. Log into Twitch. Go to your dashboard. Find your stream key. It's right there. No, you can't in fact see mine. Sorry. Sunk. Start up OBS for the first time. Go to your settings. Go to your broadcast settings and type in your stream key. Or actually you should copy paste it. That's the easiest thing to do. Make sure it's set to stream to Twitch. Make sure it's set to the closest server that's closest to where you live. Now go to encoding settings. Leave your encoder on X264, a UCBR, and enable CDR padding. Your max bitrate is going to be based on your upload speed. Use the information below to figure that out. Keep your sound codec at AAC for compatibility issues. Uh, choose a bitrate that is less than 192, preferably 112 if you're dealing with 1 megabit like me, which sucks. And you can just leave the sound on stereo. Go to your video settings. Leave the resolution basically at your computer monitor's resolution. Lower it if you need to, if your computer sucks. Now choose a resolution this is going to be downscaled to. This is going to be the resolution of your Twitch stream. Keep in mind that your bitrate is going to affect the quality regardless of the resolution. Use this as a guide. And select the disable arrow option to free up more video memory as well as CPU capability. If your computer is a piece of shit. On to audio settings. Much like choosing where your video is going to come from, choose where the sound is going to come from, including a microphone. Now go to your advanced settings, you dolt. Don't be a fucking hero, just copy what I have here. Don't mess with it, trust me. Sex. Now we need to tell OBS where the games are going to come from. We'll use Half-Life Source as an example. Right click on the scene field, and choose add scene. Type in the game field, don't bother adding anything stupid. Be smart. Now we add a source to that scene, which in this case is going to be the game capture itself. This menu will be brought up. Now start up the game that's going to be your source, which again, in this case, is going to be Half-Life Source. Now either click out or Alt-Tab out of the game itself and go back to OBS. And we need to click in the application menu. You'll probably have to hit refresh for the game executable to be detected. Click OK and hit the preview stream button. Seven. This is basically what your stream's going to look like on Twitch. So make sure it's properly fitted in the preview so it looks right in the stream itself. Right click the source or right click the preview itself to bring up properties on sizing the image. Ocho! Begin streaming in OBS, bring up your internet browser and go to your Twitch page to see if your shit's actually working. And there's a 15 second delay so don't fucking panic. If you're having picture or audio issues, mess with them accordingly. And make sure the green box at the bottom of your OBS window is nice and green. That way you know your feed isn't oversaturating your upload internet speed. Now go have some fun! Yeah! But Blitz, you said there was 10 steps, not 9. Well, you know what? I lied.